Hey yo, I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another action figure review. In this episode, we're taking a look at the Bucky O'Hare product line from Boss Fight Studios. Technically, it is the Space Adventures of Bucky O'Hare. But we're looking at the Storm Toad Trooper. Very cool. I've been uh, really anxious and waiting on this guy right here. Uh, the basic um, bad guy for the entire Bucky O'Hare series here, or at least the uh, the foot soldiers for the bad guys anyways. The Storm Toad Trooper. Very nice. Um, this is number figure number seven in the series if you're keeping track at home or wherever you're keeping track at. Uh, but this comes on a very awesome looking card here. Um, yeah, very cool. I like this thing a lot here already. Um, so flipping this thing over, we've got the awesome other figures in the uh, series. The comic strip little splash thing. And then the bio card over here on the side. So y'all can try to pause it right there if you'd like to read through that. Uh, pause now. Okay. Uh, one of the cool things about this that I really like that I hadn't really noticed before, they have all this uh, really cool credits, I guess you could say, over here on the side. So the card art is by Michael Golden and Neil Adams. The bio card's written by Larry Hama. Package design, Brian Hickey. I guess that's how you say his name. So that is very cool. Really like these, this uh, new Boss Fight Studios product line of Bucky O'Hare. So, uh, yeah. So these, uh, the cards themselves, the figures on the cards are made to be collector friendly. So they uh, are resealable, basically, is what that means. So these things pop off. If you've seen any of the rest of these videos, you know kind of what to expect here. But, uh, these little plastic things on the side, you just kind of bend them down and uh, the card slides out very easily. Uh, you can also do it from the bottom, but uh, I don't know why I'm doing it from the side. But <laughs> then you get the full card here, which is very cool. I like this a lot. <laughs> Throw that to the side for right now. We do get the figure in the tray here. Go ahead and pop out the uh, secondary accessory tray and the full figure tray. The rest of this will just go over here to the side. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep those like that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and pop all the accessories out, and then we'll uh, zoom in and take a look at everything. Uh, we do have this cool uh, scythe, sickle-looking knife thing here. We've got an alternate toad head. Very cool. We have this cool cap here, uh, which does make me think that we can probably pop Dead Eye Duck's hat off with a little bit of effort. But, uh, oh, anyways, we also have some alternate hands. Looks like we get three in here. So there is uh, one toad hand, an open toad hand. There's two open toad hands, and then a pointy toad hand. So very cool. We'll toss that tray to the side here. And we have some weapon accessories. A cool looking Storm Toad Blaster. And a cool looking pistol. And then we get the main attraction, the actual Storm Toad Trooper. Popping him out. Looks awesome. Throw that up there and listen to it crash to the ground here. So, uh, yeah, these are some really awesome looking accessories. Uh, we'll go ahead and zoom in here and uh, take a closer look. So bear with me while I readjust the camera here. Should really get one of these things fixed so we don't have to move it all the time. And that's what happens when you have a uh, fixed zoom uh, lens here, but it has such a great looking picture. <laughs> All right, uh, let's take a look at the accessories first. We'll start with the the sickle looking thing here. It's got some really nice details here. You can see little etchings on the blade, little nicks and everything all the way around. Very cool looking, really nice handle. Uh, the handle on this thing also has that cool little uh, 
tab system here. So on his uh, belt all the way around here, you've got these little pegs. So all these weapons kind of do this same thing with uh, all the figures that we've seen so far. But you just basically just peg it on there like that and he can carry his weapons. So that is a really awesome design. And these are interchangeable. So uh, the, the pegs and peg holes fit with any figure here. So uh, that is very cool. Uh, while we're looking at weapons, let's look at the uh, pistol here. Uh, this basically looks like, um, I guess it's the same basic pistol as we've seen with other figures, just in this nice kind of purplish pink color, fuchsia color maybe. Some nice detail though. I can get the light on it. Very cool looking. I really like these. And it works the same way. You just take that little peg and uh, peg it on his belt wherever you think it should fit. So it's really awesome. And it also fits in his hands. So uh, these Toad Trooper figures are a little bit bigger than the uh, regular figures. So I do like that their weapons don't necessarily have the, uh, the trigger guards on them. Um, so it's, it's really nice. So <laughs> anyways, let's move on to the, uh, the blaster rifle. This one is cool looking again, lots of cool details on this thing. I don't know what that kind of wrapping is supposed to be there, but very cool regardless. Again, it also has that same peg system here. And it also actually has a trigger guard there, so uh, that's interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, stick that in his hand here, and let's see how that looks. If I can get it to go in there. Uh, so, <laughs> well, that might work a little easier. <laughs> uh, like that, and then... That's a little odd. So his uh, crazy looking uh, gauntlet thing is kind of keeping his hand from uh, getting a hold of that. So let's just try to push that to the side. There we go, that's not too bad. Uh, so yeah, there's the, the figure with the gun here. So very cool looking. You do have to kind of push it out to the side here to get it around that gauntlet, but uh, not that big a deal. Very cool looking though. Um, that thing just popped off. And I think that's because it's removable. Maybe it's not. Nope, it is. So uh, this little thing here is removable, so you can have it... Uh, I don't know why you would remove it, but you can. <laughs> Interesting. So I just uh, got a little peg there. So just peg it back in place and uh, you're back there. So yeah, I don't really know why they did that that way. Uh, if anybody knows for sure, you know, drop a comment down below and let us know about that. That's just weird. But okay, so there's <laughs> there's the rifle. Uh, the alternate hands, we do have uh, basically a set of open hands for the toads. They do look really nice here. I know this is uh, probably washing out. So let me dial this back a little bit. Really nice detail, though. The way these work, you kind of saw it earlier. Uh, they're only just the peg system here, so you just pop these out. And just slide these in, and there you go. You've got your alternate hands. So, very cool looking. And these come out a lot easier than uh, Dead Eye Ducks did. So, for whatever reason. And then we've got a, uh, a pointy finger as well. So, very cool. Really nice look there. Uh, the second head we have here is I guess the unhelmeted version and uh, we'll take a look and see if that helmet comes off. It does. But uh, as far as the face itself goes you can kind of see these 
This one is uh, kind of grinning all of its teeth bared, and this one has got more of a smirk on it. So that is really cool. And you also notice that uh, the little warts are in different places. So I guess technically you can do some really cool army building with these things. This is just a regular uh, ball joint for the head. So to swap these out, you basically just grab the second head and just twist it until it pops off like that. And then you drop the other head back in its place. Like so. Very cool. Uh, the other accessory we have here is this cool looking army hat. And it's got a peg system on it as well. So there's a square peg there. The top of his head there has the square peg hole. <laughs> And you just kind of line that up and press it into place and it pops on there like that. So uh, the uh, hat's a little oversized, so you may have to adjust it a little bit to get it to go wherever you want to. But again, it helps with that army building thing. You can also do backwards hat, which I actually like a lot. <laughs> that is very cool though. So uh, really awesome accessories there so uh let's pop this thing off and uh get back to the original head there we go so we're back to uh the original head here so uh let's go ahead and look at the figure itself now that we've got all the accessories dealt with turn the uh light up just a little bit here so um starting out with just the detail here uh this figure just looks amazing uh, we've got the cool space helmet there with the translucent pinkish purple lenses. Those are really awesome. And then we've got the cool teeth bearing everywhere. Really nice. We've got this cool death toad symbol there. Some really nice gold armor plating on his uh, armor straps there. Same thing around, very nice looking there. Some cool details on his, uh, whatever you want to call those things. <laughs> and some really cool looking details on like his boots. Um, for some reason, the gold is not painted all the way around on all those. So I don't know if that's just a factory issue or what that is, but uh, this boot on this side looks mostly fine. You can see there's little pouches all over the place here. And looking at his back here, he's got the cool peg holes for some things. Very nice. More pouches. Those are cool. So, very awesome looking figure here. Great detail here. Articulation-wise, the head does spin 360 degrees. You've got uh, full upward-looking motion can't go down too far, but uh, side to side, head tilts all the way around. Very cool. Standard ball and swivel at the shoulder joints. Um, he's got a little bit of limited articulation as far as, but it's not too bad actually, but that also just popped off. <laughs> uh, so we'll pop that back on. Uh, these are nice, soft plastic pieces here as you can see if the camera will focus so you don't have to worry too much about them popping off <laughs> uh, and you'll notice like on this joint here there is a little bit of an indentation here and if you'll look on the inside of this there is another indentation so you just kind of line those up and pop them in place and then pop that uh, back in there on that joint there, and you're good to go. So uh, not that big a deal, but uh, just something to be aware of. Uh, then, so I guess we got a couple of joints there that move. So ball and swivel, and then another swivelly joint, and then ball and swivel at the elbow joints. Uh, then we have a standard swivel joint at the wrist. Very cool, but very weird with that. 
Uh, on this one, we only have the uh, waist twist. And it's got a little bit of uh, motion there, but it's mostly just the waist twist itself. Interesting. Uh, kind of a standard... Well, somewhat standard... Uh, Well, maybe not at all. So I was going to say it was a standard T-hook. Well, it's actually a ball joint at the uh, the waist here. If you can see in there. So it's got some kind of weird articulation on it. It doesn't go out all that much, or but it goes forward quite a bit and backward quite a bit. But uh, side to side is a little weird. There, that's a better shot of it because it just popped off that ball joint so and i guess all of these figures are those ball joints instead of what i was thinking so yeah they're they're ball joints here so um if you saw any of my previous videos uh i said they were t-hooks and they're not so my bad uh we do have the standard um rocker uh paw and swivel at the knee joint there underneath that little thing there so it's a single knee joint though uh, then we have the standard uh, swivel rockery weird thing at the ankle joint so front and back and then anywhere side to side you want to go with it so very cool the tips of his boots are not articulated so like with bucky they were but not with this guy but still uh, some really great articulation, uh, and, and you can also move those things around wherever you want to. So if you want the pouches to be on the inside, you can do that. You can also flip it around and put the pouches on the other side if you want to. So a uh, really great range of motion here. You'll have to be careful of some of those joints because they do tend to pop out a little bit easier than I would like. But that's kind of the way these figures are, so uh, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, the helmet is removable. It pops off. It's got that same little uh, square peg system on it, but it looks awesome. So put that back on there, and it snaps in place. That is just totally awesome here. So uh, yeah, that is the uh, Toad Stormtrooper, or is it Storm Toad Trooper? I don't forgot. <clears throat> it is the uh, Storm Toad Trooper. Storm Toad Trooper. Say that three times fast. <laughs> Anyways, this is a really awesome figure, and I am really excited about this thing. Uh, you definitely will want to pick these things up if you're a Bucky O'Hare fan. Uh, if you haven't already, go check it out, Boss Fight Studios. They actually have these in a two-pack as well, and I want to say they may have an additional, uh, slightly different variation of the Storm Toad Troopers out now. But uh, when I picked it up, this was the only single carded figure that they had. They do have the uh, the two packs still. So I'll try to get some of those to look at somewhere down the line here. But yeah, awesome figure. Uh, this one is probably one of the best so far. And they've all been pretty great, so... Well, that's all the time we've got for today, so thanks for watching. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit a thumbs up if you're digging this Storm Toad Trooper. If you like the rest of the Bucky O'Hare line, give us a thumbs up as well. <laughs> um, drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think of this awesome Storm Toad Trooper. If you've got this one already, you know, feel free to, you know, put your experience down there, down below as well. Whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, until next time.